Bum, 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 Boom, 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 boom. What up, players? What about saying after this mud? This may or um, may not please some of you Vampire Counts players out there. I do have a new copy of The White Dwarf. Shh, a ninja got it for me. A ninja named Steve. But I'm not going to um, review it in this episode. Instead, I'm going to talk about this lovely lady. Her name is uh, Car Bash Ya In. Carbashia in, but you can call her Kim. She's got a designer handbag over here. I decided to try and copy the Louis Vuitton style and print. So I'm pretty pretty stoked about that. Got a little knob reaching in. I decided to paint her stockings in this dark granite color. And I decided to give her clothes a kind of warm blue and yellow. I believe it's Averlin is the province that has the blue and yellow motif in the empire. So I wanted to kind of replicate that. In Hawaii, we have this uh, store called Hawaiian Heritage that sells these really big, gaudy gold bracelets. And um, some women think it's awesome to buy like five or six or seven of them and just put them on their arms until they dangle and weigh like 10 pounds. But um, I decided it might be fun to copy that, so I gave her these gold bracelets with little, um, little blue gems dangling off of them. And here you can see some shots of the blue gems hanging off of her neck piece as well. She's wearing a beautiful Yeti um, wrap to cover her neck to keep her warm in the cold winter months. And she's holding a big rolling pin. So I don't really know what else to tell you. Uh, I have no idea what this thing is over here. Um, let's get in as close as we can. Yeah, no idea what that is. So I just decided to paint him up like a terrified little hairless rodent that is afraid that he's going to be eaten. So he's kind of looking up at her like, oh no, don't eat me, oh my god, please. Decided to give her pink fingernails, as you can see, and um, I don't really know what else to say. I tried to paint little LVs and the little Louis Vuitton symbols on the bag. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be, um, but um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's fun and it's cool and it's something different. Speaking of different, the reason I decided to make uh, Miss Kim Kardashian in a little bit more feminine and just uh, softer, if that can be said about an ogre, is because I kind of want her to stand apart from the other man-eaters. I mean, these models are, you know, pretty, pretty pricey and I didn't want, I, I wanted something that's going to stand out on the field. So I think she will because I think she looks different from most female man-eaters ogres that you see on the field. I'm glad I decided not to go with the beard, the beard, the fake beard, quote unquote, just because um, I think it's fun to see uh, an ogre all dolled up like this. So uh, let me know what you think. I'd be really interested to get your feedback as always. I'm going to post up pics uh, on my war, my, my blog, warbosstay.blogspot.com. You can follow me over there. You can also follow my na blog at the stronghold, ogrestronghold.com. Check them out too. Uh, great community, like I said, I'm putting up all my ogre stuff over there, and um, hopefully I can get a couple more vids up before the uh, Vampire Counts release in a couple of weeks. And so, looking forward to maybe a lead belcher tutorial, how to do a lead belcher in the colors of Nuln, as well as um, just a whole lot of unboxing as soon as the Vampire Counts get in, and as much stuff of my requests that I can get to. Also, I got a request for doing a less armored up skeleton for the vampire count, so I, I, I might do one of those since skeletons are gonna be big and um, the people are gonna wanna know how to paint their less armored skeletons up in vampire count style. So, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And we'll see you in the next one.